Hello everyone, my name is Dennis Purcell I'm from Saxton Bradley. We did the integration of your system here. Congratulations on your interactive uh, display. I'm going to show you a few features, uh, give you an idea of what the capabilities are th of the system are, and I'll be following up with you at a later date to give you some formal training specific to what you'll be doing in the room. So what I'm going to start with is the basics. I'm gonna, we're going to turn the system on and then I'm going to show you how to interact with it. So there's a computer in the back of the room which is going to be on. The power button is at the far left end of the pen tray and I select that. It will fire up the projector. You need to give it a few seconds to do that. Uh, so again, very easy. You walk in the room. That should be the first thing you do if you're going to be using the system. It takes about 30 seconds to warm up. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to see your computer dis uh, screen display. It's normal to see this smart uh, startup screen. It will show that as the projector starting up, and then it will bring up your uh, computer screen. Again, you see the projector is still warming up, uh, which is normal. It will achieve its uh, full brightness momentarily. But the basics of the board are, this is just a big touch screen. That's the fundamentals of it. We have a power button there. And really, if you're going to be using this for a presentation, that's the main button, not the only button you need to know on this left side of the pen tray. Uh, once I'm at my desktop, I'm controlling anything on my computer. My finger is my mouse. One thing you'll see that's different is you'll see a sidebar, a gray sidebar. And two things I want to bring to your attention is on this sidebar, you have the ability to switch between the desktop, which you see right now, and whiteboard. And the whiteboard takes you to a whiteboard software where I can write, make notes. Uh, I'm going to go back to the desktop. We'll talk about the whiteboard in just a second, but again, my finger is my mouse. So when I want to open something, I just use my finger so I can select the volume, control the volume. So you can get that to a good setting if you have to uh, share anything that has audio. If I want to select a program, for example, Internet Explorer, I touch. Notice I'm touching with one finger. You see me with two fingers, but I'm touching with the tip of my middle finger. I'm using two fingers, so that middle finger is hanging out there by itself. But I can select a program, and here I'm in Google. I can go to your home page for King County Housing Authority, and notice I touch, it's a left click. I touch and drag, it is uh, click and hold and drag with the left mouse button. On web pages, again, I can use them using my finger like a mouse. And the goal is to be able to use this device as easily as you would your mouse and keyboard. Which, by the way, you also have a wireless mouse and keyboard in the room. So you can also control the, your computer from the conference table here in the room. So I can go to any website. But the power of the board is any website that I have up, I can pick up a pen and I can write notes. I can create a brainstorm where I have an idea and I'm listing other ideas. And again, I can do that right on a website. And with the pen in my hand or the pen in the tray, I can use my finger to move and manipulate what I've done. So essentially, it's letting you use any website. And here's where I want you to think about how you use the internet, whether it be looking at blueprints or plans, maps, spreadsheets, websites. And think about how you can leverage this capability of using ink with those uh, pieces of software or programs. So again, open a website. Uh, I talked about left clicking. To right click, I simply touch and hold. You see that circle up here it means you've held long enough that I can get my right click menus. I can also touch a right click button to the right of the colors on the pen tray. And that also gives me a right click, uh, my right click menu, menus. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna minimize this and go back to my desktop, or excuse me, to the whiteboard. And the last thing I'll show you is in this whiteboard software, the way you use these tools with the board is it recognizes the pen as ink. Your finger 
is the mouse. I can move and manipulate. The eraser will erase. But notice the eraser is just creating a large surface area on the board. So anything that creates a large surface area, like your fist, notice when I touch it, it creates a circle. I can erase, will erase. So pen is ink, your finger's the mouse, the eraser or a large surface area is ink. And I'm going to add a page here. You can also use this whiteboard space just to write. And I can use any of the colors in the pen tray to make notes. When we follow up with training, we're going to focus on those things that you do in this conference room, what you're planning on doing, and we're going to focus the training on that. Congratulations again on your system. We look forward to working with you and supporting your use of it to enhance what you're doing in this room. Thank you.